All right, guys, this just arrived at the Lock Lab P.O. box. It was in an envelope with no return address, and there was no note with it, surprisingly. That's kind of unusual. So if you sent this, please let me know so I can get it back to you. We'll finish taking a look at it. It looks like it's made by a company called Shield Security in California. There is their website. There's all the specs on the lock. And... See if we can get in this thing. All right. Shield security. Nice and shiny. That's my weakness. Um, I see a couple of weaknesses already. This being one of them. Looks like a one, two, three, four. Looks like a five pinner. But look how they're all almost exactly the same. Who cuts? Is this made by Master Lock? Maybe it's a subsidiary out in California. I'm looking for any manufacturer like made in China, for example, not California. Looks a lot like some of the Chinese locks we've taken a look at. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and uh, figure out how to get into it. Um, right away, I'm seeing we got some a crack here. Let me get this water shield off. And we got a crack there, so we're going to probably be able to shim into it. The easiest way to get into these a lot of times, even though with a name like Shield, maybe it's not shielded. So let's try that first, because that is always the fastest way. So slide it, slide it in, push the pins up, and see if we can... Ah, it might actually be shielded. All right, so that's not going to work, which is unusual. Let's go with the second easiest, and that would be shimming it open. Grab a couple of shims here. I think these would be the right size. Okay, well that kind of, there we go. So I shoved it in there and it popped right back out. And there we go. Not shielded. We got spring-loaded locking paws. Maybe not even in two sides. Difficult to tell. If it's false advertising or not, I don't see another one down there. Let's try it. Let's just try to shield one side and see what happens. And that will be a good indicator. All right, so it does have two, two locking paws. Yep, okay, so that's, that's a, something positive. So it's shielded and it's locked on both sides. Um, the bidding is not too impressive, as I already showed you. Let's take a quick look at that. See if I can get that to work. Not that one. Try the medium one. That may or may not work. The trick on some of these sometimes is getting the right tensioner. Looks like the thinnest one. All right, I'm just going to grab a random rake, and it's going to be this guy from Multipick. Light tension, and just, that's how quick it is. All right, just for the heck of it. Just to be a smart aleck. Apply tension. Let's take the probe. It didn't work on the shielded part, but maybe I can get, because of the way that the bidding is put together on this, there we go. We even get an open with pretty much any straight object. And if you want to SPP it, let's try that. Why are you wasting our time, Bill? That's an excellent question. All right, here we go. Try to bully it. I felt a slight turn on the core, so it's kind of sloppy. And there we go. What a piece of junk. I would advise not using this from shield security for anything. Maybe locking up your scooter. But other than that, I can't think of a use for this. I could use it as a, a weight on a, on a trot line or a weapon if I put it on a piece of rope and swung it over my head. But other than that... That's all it's good for. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe, stay legal, and whoever sent this, really, if you want to, <laughs> let me know. I'll send it to you. The value of the postage well exceeds the value of this lock, I can assure you. But anyway, thanks, guys. Lock Lab, where the fun